Let's get to it. Joe Manasa answers your real estate frequently asked questions. Good to go. Hi, today's question is, how do I create my own Gmail account? There's a lot of reasons why. You can read about them at our blog site. Uh, today's video is just going to show you how. The first thing you do is you go to google.com. You get to their main screen and click on the little Gmail button. Okay, It's going to ask you to log in or create an account. Since we're learning how to create a new account, we just click the create an account button. Then you go in and you put in your information. So now you get to say what Gmail address you want. You can try putting in your name. If you want anonymity, you can create something that maybe you remember. Like, uh, maybe I can go this and uh, okay. Then you click the check availability button and it looks like that one's already taken. Okay, and then it gives you, gives you some uh, other ones. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, JM7025860. So I'm going to give it a password. It likes it. So I'll give it another one. Um, I'm going to keep this one real clean. It's going to say, give me a security question. Let's try to write my own question. The answer will be FAQ video. You can do a whole or one a whole lot smarter than that. Okay, your recovery email is where they send you information if you forget how to log into this one. So you definitely want to put in your, your normal one. No one else will be able to get that information. So that's uh, very restricted. That's that's fine. Okay, it wants a birthday. Put in your real birthday. Uh, this isn't my real birthday, but this also isn't an account I plan on using. And then there's going to be a thing that they call CAPTCHA. This kind of requires a human interaction. Okay, and they've got their terms of service. You can read through that. You hit OK. And it says, do you want to remember this? I always hit yes, but because, again, I'm not going to keep this account. I'm going to say not now. And now I have set up a Gmail account. Okay, we've done, we've done the first half. You don't want to have to log into your Gmail account all the time, especially if this is one you're going to use very rarely. So what we want to do is set up a forward so that it will just automatically, whenever you get email at this account, it will send it automatically to the account you always use. And then you never actually have to check this account. So you go to your settings, and you come in here and you go to forwarding, add a forwarding address. And I'm just going to put that same account in that I had used. I'm going to hit next. It says a confirmation code has been sent for permission. I hit OK. Now all I have to do is go into my email account. Okay, all I have to do now is click on this link. And it says, great, the forward is set up and ready to go. So now I've created an email address. This JM7025860 at gmail.com is a valid email address. If I get tired of receiving email from people who are sending me that address, all I have to do is go in and cancel that account. I haven't messed with my original account. And this gives me some anonymity if I want to log on to different websites on the web. I hope this video helped. Let's get to it. Joe Manasa answers your real estate frequently asked questions. Good to go.